Welcome back YouTube to another Lens Island tutorial. I've already covered a video on which crop is the best for making money, but some of you may be wondering how to get started making money early game so you can afford things like the backpack upgrade and stronger weapons. But before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the helpful videos. Disclaimer, the devs did just release some new update information mentioning that farming will be getting a total overhaul, so this guide may not be as relevant, but I'd imagine it would stay somewhat similar. So let's get into things. When you start out near your raft, you're going to want to immediately do a lap around the whole island and harvest all the flowers you can, along with the barrels along the shore that are filled with machine parts. It doesn't matter which types of flowers you get, just gather as many as you can. To be able to water your flowers and crops, you have to have a watering can which can be unlocked via the workbench which requires machine parts to build. You're going to want to grab a minimum of 22 machine parts and there's a little island kind of just west of your location that has enemies on it but if you're quick at dodging can gather a lot of machine parts here. From here you're going to want to go into the caves and find at least 5 iron but our end goal is to build a refinery so if you're able to build that before you find 5 iron then you can stuff the refinery with stone and it will refine the stone into iron. This is probably the most important piece of equipment you'll get in game because it allows you to churn out a lot of iron. But before you head into the caves, I recommend you get the Marlin Sword, which is a free weapon you can find that is a great improvement from your starter knife. From here, you're going to want to start building a few farms and maybe a small starter house so you can throw a bed inside so you can sleep at night to help speed up the growth of your plant of flowers. Personally, I just like to set up near the starting raft so you can use that for resting. Now it's up to you how many farms you build, but know that more farms means more money, so I recommend building as many as you can. Personally, I think you should build 6 to 8 farm plots and fill with flowers. If you don't have enough flowers, don't worry, after your first harvest you'll just replant those flowers and hopefully fill all your farms up. A quick tip, if you stand in the perfect spot, you can actually water 4 farms in one water cycle to help speed things up. Now speaking of water, for now I just placed down one well centralized on your farms that you can replenish your can with. Now you technically can refill your can in the ocean, but I personally would rather speed things up and refill with a well. Wells require limestone, stone, fiber, and wood. Limestone is found at the beaches and stone is either found in the caves or around the island. Now that you've got your watering can crafted, farms, and well built, go ahead and get to farming. After you get all your farms built and flowers planted and watered, you're going to want to farm for some stone and limestone so you can repair the bridge into Bridgewater, which is where you'll be selling your crops and buying items. From here, it's just a waiting game. You've got a couple options on what you can do in the meantime while you wait for your flowers to mature. Like I said before though, when it's nighttime, it's good to sleep so you can accelerate time. Our end goal is two things. The first thing is a self-watering farm, and the second thing is expanding your backpack space further and further along. Note that you will be limited by your backpack size at 150, so the first thing you're going to want to do after you plant your farm is upgrade your backpack. Your first upgrade allows you to carry up to 250 total materials and only costs 75 gold. If you've planted 8 farms, it should only take a yield or two to be able to afford the next upgrade which is crucial. Now do not forget to replant your crops though before you sell or it'll take that much more time to get new flowers. Now immediately following your backpack upgrade, you want to expand your farm further by adding roughly 4 new farms and fill with flowers. Now after you add the new farms, the next thing you're going to want to do is upgrade your workbench which will give you access to new blueprints. This will cost you 40 fiber, 200 wood, 70 machine parts, and 45 iron. Important to note at this point, if you're trying to make a lot of money fast, do not waste machine parts on cosmetic blueprints. Another helpful tip to help speed things up is crafting a scythe, assuming you have the iron for it because it makes harvesting much easier and faster. After you grab the blueprint for the water tower, you'll notice that you need 300 wood to build the water tower, which means you need the next backpack upgrade. You might want to now start expanding your farms to even larger in preparation for the water tower because it's got a large water radius. Your next goal is the next backpack expansion which costs even more gold than before, and then upgrade your workbench to level 3 and unlock the windmill which will auto fill your watering towers. So the rest of the process is just repeating what I mentioned before which mainly consists of farming for machine parts and iron. Your farm will grow while you stuff your refinery with stone and while you go find machine parts. You'll want to be constantly expanding your farm. Eventually you'll have enough money to buy new tools to make harvesting quicker as well. I recommend buying the Chop Arg from the Pirate and Bridgewater for a great budget option to replace your iron axe. Pickaxe wise, there really isn't any great budget options, but if you have an overabundance of iron, I recommend just crafting the Miner's Pickaxe, which is a big step up from the Starter Iron Pickaxe. Also, the more money you make, you can just go buy machine parts straight from the Blacksmith or iron if you don't want to harvest for stone. So I ended up going into a bit more detail than I wanted to, so I was trying to keep things as simple as possible, but that's really it. Once you can build the windmill, you're pretty much set, and now you should be looking to expand your farm even larger, pushing for the final void backpack upgrade, which will expand your inventory to 50,000. 
I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please do not forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comment section below. Happy farming, YouTube.